Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I will be going through the unboxing process of the test mat mattress, which will be for my Tesla Model 3. And I'll kind of give my initial impressions and go through the setup. Um, it just arrived, so let's go get it and then we'll bring it back inside and open it up. And here it is right here, my very own test mat. Let's bring it inside and open it up. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna open up the box. So what I bought was the test mat, the mattress, and the privacy shade, as well as a fitted sheet. Sure, what that is. That might be the carrying case, perhaps, or the. Um, okay, this is the fitted bed sheet right here. Uh, yeah, this is the privacy screen for Model Three, and on this side there is a. Uh, QR code that you can scan for instructions on how to set that up. Quite interesting. And then here is the mattress. And that's, that's all that was in the box. This is rolled up. This is the mattress. Uh, test mat instructions and FAQ. And there's a QR code here to scan for how to set that up. So let's go ahead and cut this open, I guess. Be very careful. Okay. Rip it open. Okay, so now we have the mattress here. And you can fold it open, looks like. There's, I'm not sure what this is for, but I will go ahead and scan that QR code to look at the proper instructions and make sure I didn't skip anything. Uh, oh, here it is. Okay, we'll continue with the privacy screen. Okay. This is specifically for the Model 3. They have different ones for the other models. I like the carrying case, the little case here. Oh, the case is built in, the privacy screen is sort of built into the carrying case. Very good. That way you can't lose it. I imagine this won't be too fun, too much fun putting away afterwards, but so this, I guess, sort of hooks onto the roof, the interior roof of the vehicle. Okay, very good. We'll set this down. Next, we have the luxury microfiber fitted bed sheet. I think, yeah, this is reporting in mirror. Okay, so that's, I'm not good at folding fitted bed sheets, so I don't know that it will get folded very well after use, but I'm guessing it's machine washable, I would imagine. Yeah, wash before use. Okay, perfect. So, 
that looks pretty good. So next we have the carrying case. This. Kind of smells like a cooler. Kind of looks like a cooler, really. Okay, so there's these straps in here, which uh, you can use these to compress the mattress once it's in here. Perfect. Well, I think the next thing to do would be to set this up. So we'll go outside and I'll put this in the Model 3 and show you what it looks like. Okay, I'm out here at the Model 3 and I'm going to go ahead and lower the rear seat and then I have the mattress here. I actually was able to uh, wrestle it into the carrying case, which was not as difficult as I expected actually. So I'll go ahead and begin the process of setting it up. Okay, so I will open this. Then we need to lower the rear seat. Pardon me. Uh, let me turn off the stereo. Okay, so then there's these uh, things here. And I need to move my seat forward. And then we will do the same thing on this side. Okay, now we have our space back here. Let me move my mobile connector carrying case. Excellent. Okay, I'll put the mattress in now. Okay, I just wanted to point out that it is advertised as being able to fit in the sub trunk of the Model 3. And it probably could actually. I could compress this a little bit more. Anyway, so that's, it's not quite uh, flat at the moment, but like I said, I could do a better job compressing it probably and make this a little bit more flush. So now, this would be like you're setting up at camp, so just pull this, pull this out. Open, open it. So there it is rolled up, and you just sort of, this is almost like a seatbelt. Just pull these apart. There we go. And then I will lift this into the car. Okay, so you just unvelcro this here. And then you can unroll it. So I will finish unrolling it. Actually, did I put it upside down? Uh, no, I don't think I did. This just folds on this side. Okay, so I will push it back further. And once you have it in, you can go ahead and unfold it. could be pulled in a little bit higher perhaps looking pretty good so far and as you see here I have gone ahead and installed the fitted sheet which was quite simple this should be interesting now, as you can see, the mattress does overhang the rear seat slightly. And what they did is, uh, this is a hard material here. So that should provide some support. I'm slightly skeptical, but it might work actually. Okay, I just crawled into the vehicle 
And before I go any further, I'm gonna go ahead and turn on camp mode. So let me walk you through how that works. Okay, so here on the main screen, just gonna pull this up and on the right side, we have camp. Let's do that, camp mode enabled. Car will stay on until battery reaches 20%, sentry mode, security alarm, and walk away lock will be disabled. Okay, I just wanted to get some HVAC going in here since it's kind of hot, even though it's 75 degrees. Okay, uh, honestly, my initial impression of using camp mode in general and with this mattress, um, I, I'm quite positive actually. It's decently comfortable. I got, I brought a couple of my own pillows. Uh, these are supplied by me, so that may be impacting my opinion, but it's decently comfortable. Now I'm about 6'2", and I could probably move back a little bit. Part of it's where the seat uh, meets the trunk floor. There's a slight angle. It's not totally flat there. But I've got a decent amount of space. I don't have any blankets with me at the moment. I could run inside and get some, but um, yeah. Straight, even if you were laying on your side, at least me and my size, um, you know, there's still some room. I could see your blankets getting caught by this these pieces here. You've kind of got a shelf here, but the problem is that this is uh, kind of slippery. So uh, there might be some sort of rubber shelf that you can use. I also noticed if you kind of open up these anchor um, or tether flaps, whatever they're called, you can kind of use that to place your phone here so it doesn't uh, roll down. Uh, let's see, the door. Yeah, you could use the door pockets still uh, to put stuff if you need to. There you have it. Uh, the early impressions of the test mat so far, so good. And I should mention this is not a sponsored video. Um, I bought this with my own money and it is very nice so far. And I'm gonna be trying this out in about a week. So I'll have another video at a campground actually setting this up and uh, cross your fingers that I can also be plugged in because running camp mode, you're running the HVAC system that's gonna be using battery. So if I can plug into shore power, I believe I will be able to, uh, then this would be absolutely perfect. Uh, I'm not gonna set up the privacy screen right now because I need to get this stuff uh, put away because I'm going to be going out of town tomorrow. So uh, thank you all for watching. Please give the video a like and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Bye-bye.